আসসালামু আলাইকুম কেমন আছেন সবাই আমরা আমাদের ফেভারিট ব্রিটিশ টিচার রিচার্ড কে নিয়ে চলে এসেছি হ্যালো হাই হাউ আর ইউ আই অ্যাম গুড আই অ্যাম ফিলিং রিয়েলি গুড টুডে দ্য সান ইজ শাইনিং দ্য ওয়েদার ইজ ফ্যান্টাস্টিক ইটস গুড হাউ আর ইউ আই অ্যাম ফাইন টু গুড সো আজকে আমরা আবার লাইভে আসলাম আপনাদের সবার জন্য আপনারা যদি আপনাদের আইএলটিএস স্পিকিং স্কিল অথবা আইএলটিএস জনিত যে কোনো ধরনের সমস্যা নিয়ে একজন ব্রিটিশ টিচারের গাইডেন্স পেতে চান তাহলে আমাদের লাইভে জয়েন করে ফেলতে পারেন এবং আমি কমেন্ট সেকশনে লিংক দিয়ে দিচ্ছি আমাদের লাইভের আপনারা সরাসরি এটিতে ক্লিক করে আমার লাইভে জয়েন রিকোয়েস্ট পাঠাতে পারেন ওকে লিঙ্কটি আমি দিয়ে দিয়েছি সো আশা করি আপনারা আমাদের লাইভে আমাদের পাশেই থাকবেন এবং আপনারা আমাদের সাথে কমিউনিকেট করবেন আমরাও আপনাদেরকে হেল্প করব যাতে আপনারা আপনাদের আইএলটি এর স্কিলগুলোকে আরও ডেভেলপ করতে পারেন নিজেদেরকে আরও সুন্দরভাবে প্রেজেন্ট করতে পারেন ওকে সো রিচার্ড শেল উই স্টার্ট হ্যাঁ ইয়েস অফ কোর্স প্লিজ ফার ওয়ে Okay, so I will ask you a few questions that is displaying on the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. These, these questions are from, these are the questions that you will be asking part one of the IELTS speaking. Uh, these are all related to you and about you. So these are what they will ask and they will just ask these questions. That's great. So basically, these are the questions that are available in ILTS, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait a second. So at first, I want to ask you, what do you do in your free time? Okay. So in my free time, I do a number of things. So I either take the dog for a walk which I thoroughly enjoy because it gets you out into the fresh air and the open air takes me around my locality. Um, or I go to a park, uh, which is nearby and walk around the lake and through all the um, nice scenery. Uh, I like to do that. Or I like to do um, some cook uh, baking because I like to bake. That's nice. What about you? Um, basically, what I do on my free time is like I go to the shopping apps and I like, want to just buy new things that are available. Excellent. <laughs> uh, or I just go out with my family or friends for spending good time or to eat something that I crave for the whole week. Yeah, yeah that's okay. all that I do. Good. Sounds good. Okay. So, do you have a busy social life? Um, not really, no. I don't have a busy social life. Um, I, I go out at the weekends um, with friends. Um, sometimes we don't like to go out. We just like to stay in. Um, but the boys, my friends, uh, we meet up. Uh, maybe every four weeks and go for something to eat and catch up over dinner. And then we have some other really close friends who live um, about uh, 40 miles away. And we all meet up every eight weeks in the same restaurant, which is in the middle between where we, where we all live. And we have a big catch up. There's about eight of us and we sit around the table for about four hours talking and eating and catching up on what's going on in our lives and it's uh, it's, it's really, really refreshing good. you know why is it refreshing because spending that kind of time with your old people it's refreshing. Oh, uh, old people i wouldn't say we were that old but yes no we, no um, i mean that you know they are like the people you know for the long time ah yeah the longest time yeah some of them i've known since we were three years old yeah, that's why you yeah, guys uh, have been knowing each other for a huge time. Yeah, for that's a long time. Yeah, it's great. It's really good. Uh, it makes you feel happy. 
it's always good to um, speak to people that you love and care about. So yeah, so it's it's thoroughly enjoyable. But other than that, don't really go out like to a um, nightclub or you know to concerts or that type of thing or drinking or don't do any of that. You don't do any of that. No, don't do it. don't have the time or the money to do it. Or wow, you know, it's you're um, a very nice person. <laughs> well, I try to be. You're a very pure person. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so do you lead an active life? Um. Well, I used to lead a very active life. Um. I used to, like I said, walk the dog. Um. But I also used to go to the gym. Um, and do powerlifting, and I used to do that a lot. Um, and as well as doing that, I used to do some martial arts. Yeah, you to, told me before yeah, about it. I used to do some martial arts, which keeps you very active. Um, when I, but before my um, uh, surgery and stuff, I used to I used to love doing exercise. It was fantastic you know really hard exercise like hip routines and stuff like that but now i don't really get the opportunity to do any okay that's nice okay has your life changed in the last year oh yes my life's changed massively in the last year um i've been i had i had major surgery and yeah i had to recover and so a lot of things have changed you know i used to work full time um i used to do many things you know from in the early in the morning to late at night it was all about um, self development and um working hard and uh doing lots of other things externally to work and externally to what i wanted to do and and it's all changed so that I'm more sedentary in my um, my day to day. Day to now. day life, right? Yeah, yeah. It's more calm and quiet, and the meaning of life is much more important than work ever was. So yeah. So it seems like a lot has changed. Oh yeah, a lot has changed. Yeah, and I'm still got lots of issues and things going on, um, but it's one day at a time you know and that's i hope they will be resolved soon as well oh yeah it'll be resolved eventually you know, it's just a matter of time you know it's the further away i go from uh, the origin of when everything happened the stronger i become yeah okay so what would you like to change about your lifestyle oh gosh um i would like to i'd like to work less and relax more I'd yeah like me to, too i'd like to eat less and exercise more you want to eat less yeah i think um i'd like to as well maybe not less i'd like to leave i like to eat a healthier lifestyle healthier lifestyle than I currently do and and I'd like to try and exercise more as long as it doesn't cause me any problems. Okay. So it's good that you have good plans that you want to change. Oh yeah, I try and I try and implement the plan so that I can achieve the goals that I want to achieve. Um but every day is, you know, setting something waking up every morning you have an opportunity to do something different that day than you did the day before and also every day you learn something from whether it's from uh, people around you from people you speak to from people you meet or something you watch so every day is a learning day yeah i hope that you know you can bring all the good changes in your life and you can achieve all your goals I, I hope so too. And you as well. We have somebody Thank on the you. line. We have somebody on the line that's saying hello. Yeah, hello. The one who is watching us. Hello. 
Hello. Why don't you oh, join okay. and maybe we all can talk? Yeah, we are going to join us with our British teacher and our British teacher. Okay, so <coughs> now I want to ask you, what type of work do you do now? Like right now, do you do any work? Um, I do um, helping students with their IELTS, yeah. uh, with their maths and English. Um, That's great. Online and yeah, I love it. It's um, it's about taking them to a better place. So where they start and where they finish is a massive difference. And all I do is encourage them to get self-belief and confidence in what they do so that when they go into their exam, they feel confident and have the belief to achieve the grade, to achieve what they need to achieve. So if they need a grade five or grade six or grade seven, they feel the confidence and self-belief to achieve it through what I've helped them with. And for one person to say thank you or to say, oh, I'm really pleased about what you what you did with me, then that makes all the difference. And then I know that I've actually changed that person's life. And I think that's what it's all about. That's great. Sounds amazing. Well, no, I think it is. Anything, anything where you give back and educate, well, and help other people to get better is always amazing. Okay, so do you get on well with your co-workers? Oh, yeah, I get on well with pretty much everybody, really. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I think, I think the biggest thing is um, when you, you build relationships up with your co-workers, you build relationships up with people that you deliver um, uh, classes with or who are the student, who the students that are with you. And it's all about building that relationship up. And I think um, once you have the relationship and the um, trust and you engage with somebody, then I think um, you can really talk to them and really help them because they're willing to listen then. Yeah. And I think it's all about the engagement. Um, I agree with you. Because it doesn't matter whether you've got 50,000 qualifications with an MBA, a PhD, a astrophysics background a you know super duper degree this and uh thingy of that if you can't speak to somebody or engage that student then it doesn't matter about your qualifications they will not be interested in learning anything from you yeah it's true yeah okay so what responsibilities do you have at your work uh, oh, so at my work, I have the responsibility of running the whole of a program. So I look after um, the um, University of Leeds program. I look after all the students, all the staff, all the and the liaise with the lecturers and the board of directors and the. Um, other colleagues there and making sure that everything it works well and that the students are looked after and the company and all the people involved are happy with what we're doing. You're a very respectful person in your institution. Well, I would hope so, yeah. Yeah, you are, I'm sure. Okay. So are there good work opportunities in your home country? Oh, in my home country, there are amazing opportunities. So yeah. in the UK, depending on where you live. So if you lived in London, which is the hustle and bustle, the main place to be for finance around the world, then yes, you've got massive opportunities. You've got more opportunities in London than you do in, say, the north because of commerce is more prevalent and uh, bigger in London you but in the north there are lots of businesses that are moving out of the big city based on their commercial plans you know saving money uh, investing back into the locality giving jobs to local um, towns villages and cities and the 
every industry there is an opportunity. Um, I think with COVID that happened over the last two years, the opportunities for um, people to start their own business or to diversify into something or to retrain into something else has been far greater with a lot more benefits to um, the, uh, the economy and to their livelihoods than if we didn't have um, COVID. So in some cases it's been a benefit and in other cases it hasn't. So there's, yeah. a, there's, a, there's opportunities to be had, I believe. That's great, actually. A good opportunity for you as well. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I'm so how many people are there in your immediate family? In my immediate family, at the moment, there's just one person in my immediate family, and that would be my auntie. <clears throat> because okay. every, because everybody else has passed away okay so <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that yeah, that's so Please, funny sorry about that <laughs> that was so funny yeah that was really funny yeah is that spot the person oh there he is <laughs> yeah like she's also my colleague ah okay she's a bit camera shy so I she her. wanted to like pass by like that <laughs> oh dear okay. that's funny that is really funny <laughs> okay um what was the question again oh immediate family and yeah, my auntie so there's only my auntie um and auntie her... from whose side like my mum's from... sister okay. it was my mom mom, it's my mum's sister and um, she has a son and he lives in Australia, in Sydney, so with his family. So we speak uh, every couple of weeks for a few hours. Um, and then my auntie uh, is not very well, so don't get to see or speak to her very often. Um, and that's it. Then I have some cousins um, <clears throat> who I see quite regularly um, but their son lives uh, in the Middle East and I speak to him every week so yeah it, it looks like you have your some people related to you in Middle East right yeah I have um, in the Middle East uh, Australia um, and that's it really they're the places that's I have family nice. I think yeah okay oh <laughs> she's coming back now hello <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is so good. Okay, yeah. she's a bit funny. So yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> you became she red should... like a tomato. <laughs> I've just rubbed myself. That's that. She should um she should um uh, introduce herself on screen, you know. She should say hi. She's just a bit get past. camera shy actually. <laughs> oh well. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I can hear her laughing there in the background. <laughs> okay, he can hear you laughing. <laughs> okay, so um, what do you get on best within your family? Who do you get oh, on best? Who do I get within? on best with? I would say uh, my cousin in uh, Sydney, Australia. What's um, his or her name? Uh, he is called Darren. Baron. Yeah, and uh, I've known him all his life, obviously. <laughs> um, and yeah, he's just, we get on so well. And we have a laugh about everything. We talk about everything. Um, when um, his parents used to live in um, southern Spain, uh, we used to fly in from wherever we were. And we used to meet there because it was like nearly the same as meeting in the UK. I mean, his journey was much further than mine, but we used to meet in um, Spain and we used to stay there um, for maybe a week or so and we'd uh, catch up and we'd go out and it would be really nice. Okay, so he's very close to you, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, really close, yeah. I would say if, um, if he wasn't my first cousin, we'd probably be brothers, you know. 
Okay, he's your first cousin, right? My first cousin, yeah. My mum's sister's boy, yeah. Okay. So the next question for you is, do you have a large extended family? Um, not really, no. No. Okay. Yeah. We don't have a large extended family. Well, there's a few of us. There's a lot. There's a few people um, in and around, but it's not huge anymore. It used to be quite big, but not anymore. It isn't so. But um, the families we, here, the Asian families, are the biggest ones, I guess, around oh, the whole gosh, world. Yeah. Um, I think. Um, yeah, I think. Uh, like I'm the only. I my mum only had me. There's no. We don't have any more. I don't have any siblings. I don't have any. Um, my mum didn't have any. She only had one sister. Um, okay, so you are so you are the only child of your yeah, mom. Yeah, I'm the only child. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you're then, um, very pampered, I guess. Then. Oh, when... of course. You know, no, I'm That's not. Okay. And then, um, and then my dad only had he had one brother, oh, two brothers, and a sister. Um, but they all passed away the way, um, sort of like in the war and sort of later on and I never got to meet them so okay it's good to have like few people around you oh yeah it's good to have to you. Yeah, yeah yeah it's it's amazing it's good because when you see them they, they always want to spend time with you they want to talk to you they want to introduce you to your family or to talk about the history you they've had with um, meeting your family or the people that touched their lives that you might know and they tell you the stories of when they were your age or when they were younger and what they went through and what they grew up to be and um like i know that my uncle used to my dad's brother he used to run uh, nightclubs and restaurants in london and it was really big it had a lot of um, a lot of them around uh, in, the, in the 60s and people used to go in and say do you know who i am and he'd go i don't care who you are you still have to pay and it was um, really funny so those stories were really interesting okay that's great so what do you do together with your family Ah, so we do lots of things together. We um, like to go out to eat. Um, maybe once a month, maybe we go out to eat to a restaurant and we um, sit and talk and we do lots of things. Um, we might have some friends that come along uh, and join us, which is always good, for, which is always good. Uh, we like to go out into the countryside and get some fresh air and walk with the dog. Um, and then go for go to a pub for lunch afterwards, which is really good because um, the majority of places here they um, allow. Well, I wouldn't say the majority. I would say that some of the country pubs allow dogs to go in, and you can sit and have dinner or lunch um, with the dog there, which is really nice. Um, we like to sit uh, on the sofa and watch TV. Um, or we'd like to go for a nice drive somewhere or on holiday together. So it's good. Okay, that's really nice. A few people are saying hello to us. So hello, Atanushen and Noor Ibrahim, I guess. Hello. Oh, Aisha. Oh, hello. Aisha Rahman. Hi, hello. Aisha Guri, you are very good. You are very good. You are very good. You are very good. They ask a library, I'm on their comment section. I'm not a jelly. I'm okay. Join request, but at the parent, I'm not the guest. Her sherry. I'm on their British teacher, Richard. Okay, so the next question I have for you is okay. why is family important to you? Uh, family is important because it's um, it's your inner circle and that inner circle is very um trustworthy you know well i say sacred trustworthy honest you know they're the type of your people, own people. people yeah they're the people that tell you the truth about everything they won't um say oh yeah that's great and they don't mean it they they're, they're the ones that are there for you through thick and thin 
yeah. they're the ones that make sure that when you're down they bring you back up so i think um it that inner circle or family close family is very important yeah and, I also, family think and I also think that family doesn't necessarily mean people that are related to you yeah I think um, family can be friends especially yeah. good friends that have always been there for you yeah so, actually friends are a part of family actually when yeah. they like become so close to you there is no difference between the word friendship and family it's yeah, all the same I, at that point I agree absolutely okay so do you do housework at home of course that's yeah. great men yeah. doing that sounds so good to me <laughs> No, but everybody should do an equal share. So whatever you need to do, you know, say so like what you're good at and what your other half's good at, you know, dependent on what it is. So, so you do it, your own works, right? We like, all have we we have our roles to play in the house and then sometimes that's we do good actually, together. the role playing is yeah. I really support that. Like it's like not only one person will take the burden, it will be shared yeah i think um the days of where the roles are defined very archaically in terms of men and women um is really outdated now and i think that you don't support that right <clears throat> i don't support that now i think uh, everybody should do their own thing i think everybody should work together it's because you are a family unit or you're uh, in a unit together so and you both use exactly the same things so why should one person do all this and the other person not have to do anything highly appreciate your thinking well no but i think that's the thinking that um i think that once you break tradition because most things are based on tradition yeah customs and, traditions and yeah. so many things more yeah or, well your culture customs and tradition uh, all started by somebody doing it and other people following now as society and as everybody and as um things change so should that thinking otherwise we'd all still be in horses we still, we'd all still be in carts and horses and the men would go out to work and the women would be staying in the house That's i mean good. I think we've moved massive from there and we should still keep moving because things change. If not, okay, if what not, kind of housework do you like do basically? I want to know. Uh, I do the cooking. I do, oh, that's uh, great. I do all the um, laundry. Wow. Your um, partner is lucky to have you. Yeah, I do. What else do I do? I do other bits. I do uh, sometimes I can go to do the shopping. You, um, you do the dishes sometimes oh uh, we have a dishwasher so we're just getting the dishwasher okay wow that's great yeah so but yeah so i um set the table i clear the table i do all that's that that's really good that you take yeah. part in these things uh sometimes if without i without being the stereotype person no there that? should be no stereotypes um are long gone i think but yeah it, some, really good some cultures and um, countries still believe in the um, stereotypical way that people should be, and yeah, uh, they do. And there think, are a lot still. Left. I think it. I think it's. Um, it has to change because, um, thing you know, society and everybody's moved on. Otherwise, yeah. it, you know, it's just the elders of each community like to stick to tradition especially also tradition in um, religion or uh, everything else i think is i think it's great that people do that and if you're and if you want to do that then that's great but everybody has a choice whether that's a choice that people like or people don't like it's your choice it's your life nobody you can only live your life how you want to live it and you can't live it for somebody else's reasoning yeah true in my opinion yeah what, I what, agree what, with what you. do i know yeah 
I agree with you. Mm. Okay, so like, did you do housework when you were a child? When I was a child, uh, no. You were pampered always. I, I was guess. pampered, yeah. Only child. Since you were yeah. the only child. So yeah. Just whatever, whatever, whatever I wanted, I got. I mean, privileged I was, kid. Yeah, it was privileged. Well, I wouldn't say it was that good, but it was. Um, it had its ups and downs, I would say. Still. Yeah, I no, hope yeah. you had good time in your childhood. Oh yeah, I had a great time in my childhood. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted so to be you... outside. I just wanted to be outside all the time. So from great. as soon as I was able to go out by myself, you know, like from maybe ten or eight, I'd stay out until you know, I'd go out at six o'clock in the morning and go come wow. home at come home at whenever my grandma shouted for me outside the house looks like you had like full freedom to live your life right well i decided that i didn't want to be constrained by people telling me what to do so that's good i appreciate your choice and decision mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. like do you think that children should do housework i think um as society progresses or how the modern family is I think that children need to understand it all starts with education and I think that education is lacking in certain areas in terms of teaching student teaching children uh, the value of money and the value of hard work and I think that if parents get involved and on board with this to give their um, children the tools and the education to prepare them for later life then I think that's all well and good. And I'm sure there'll be people that think um, there's different ways of doing it and everything else. But I think that, say, for example, if a child wants to have some money to buy something, then they have to do something for it. You know, they can't just expect to be given it. Unless the family, even if the family are very wealthy, I think that um, it, you have to teach them the value of money and the value yeah. of hard work. It's value true of hard that Children should learn the value of money nowadays. Yeah. yeah, and I think that as they get older through school, I think that school's lacking in terms of instead of doing maths, I think they should, they should have an option. So you do maths or finances. And I think that finances should look at things like um, how you open a bank account or what's interest rates mean, what's having a credit card mean, a debit card buying things online, you you know, yeah. all this type of thing, budget control, all these type of things I think is more relevant than knowing what the, um, what a, uh, the area, well, you no, know, because an area of a square is quite good. So for certain things in maths, you know, you know, balancing an equation, why would you need, you know, I think that's not as practical as the other stuff. Yeah, I agree with you. That's okay, it, sure. right. so yeah. I guess that's it for today. We will do the okay. rest on the next slide. Okay, fantastic. Okay. So, Achkir Jono, Atatukui, Ashakuri, Apnader, Bhadolegeche, Amader Live Session, Amader British Teacher Richard Shate, Apnara Jodi Chan, Amader Shate Join Kurte Paren, Amader Live Kulote, Ebong Apnader Friends, their Shate Share Kurte Paren, Amader Live Kulo, Apnara Chile, Apnader Friends, their Shate Inbox, or Matu Share Kurte Paren, Ebong Apnara Chile, Apnader Wallo, Amader Live Kulo, Share Kurte Paren, Ebong Apnara Jodi. Kono particular Jinisher Bapare Jante Chan, Jeta ILTS Junito, Tahule Apnara Madeke comments a Janate Parin, Othoba Amadeke inbox Kurta Parin, Amra Por Live Apnadeke Jani Edibo. Amade teacher fish helpful at Chen, Tini Shopshuma, students take a Shahjokor, Chesta Kore. So Amade live Kulo join Kur Shopshuma Amade Pashe Thakbe, Apnade Shate Abar Dakahobe, Agami Live, Ashakuri Shabai Bahalo Thakben, Shusto Thakben. Assalamu alaikum. Bye, Richard. Hope you have a Bye. great day. You too. Enjoy. Okay.